And so now it's time for the co-main event. This is the one I have been looking for. This is also running. a title fight yep. to see who will be title the fight. URCC interim bantamweight champion. Interim. Okay. First up, all the way from Hawaii, in the blue corner, Ian De La Cuesta. his own Brady the Kung Fu Warrior Huang, 5-0 and oh as a pro MMA fighter. So Ian De La Cuesta was just came in, uh, fighting out of uh, Guayapu, Hawaii, the flyweight. He's 9-8 uh, and 0 oh, in a 2 no contest. Uh, on the island of Hawaii, he's ranked number 5 out of 15 active flyweights out there. Um, they're fighting for an interim title right now. We have uh, Brady Wang coming out here right now, who's a 5-0, and undefeated pro fighter, fighting out of the Dragon House, like my co-commentator over here, Brady Green said. Brady is unstoppable from the last five fights I've seen. Yeah, if Brady Wong gets you in full mount, you are not going anywhere. You he are has stuck. one of the best rubber guards I've ever seen. He has an incredible rubber guard and a very, very, very solid full mount. Like I said, if Brady gets you in a full mount, the fight's pretty much over. So, this is going to be a good fight. Like, um, De La Cuesta is heavy-handed, to say the least. Yeah, this and is he can knock you out coming off his back foot. This is by far the toughest test of Brady Huang's MMA career. And Brady Huang, the Kung Fu Warrior, makes his way into the URCC cage here in our co-main event of the evening at URCC 32. As we are all set to find out who will become the next URCC bantamweight champion of the world. Brady Huang and Ian De La Cuesta. And once again, this is the co-main event and a title fight to see who will be the URCC interim bantamweight champion. These two fighters weighed 135 pounds. In the blue corner, flying all the way from Hawaii, California, he represents Hawaii Elite MMA at Eva Beach, Hawaii. He's 29 years old with a professional record of 10 and 5. He is Ian De La Cuesta. His opponent in the red corner, fighting out of the Dragon House in San Francisco, California. Brady Huang, one of the top professional fighters. He's 24 Mike years old, undefeated professionally with a 5-0 record. Brady the Kung Fu Warrior Huang. All right, you guys, I am very excited for this fight. This is one of the ones I anticipated, other than uh, win and Suns fight tonight. Sound of the bell, come out, ready to bang. Punch gloves, return your corners. Referee in charge, Kane Vandal. Yeah. All right, everybody this is bantamweight. exiting the cage that doesn't need to be in there, probably doesn't want to be in there. <laughs> uh, the cage door is being locked and we're ready to go. Brady Huang and Ian De La Cuesta. And De La, here we go. De La Cuesta in the white and red and blue Hawaii flag shorts. And Brady Huang in the black NorCal Fight Shop shorts. Both men okay. feeling each other out early on in the first round. Oh, head kick just misses by Huang. Nice kick landed by De La Cuesta. Nice like, leg kick by Huang. Like how both these guys are keeping very calm. Huang's got a very dead look on his face, as he usually does. He's Brady Huang him. looking for a takedown right away. If he gets De La Cuesta in full mount, it is not good for his opponent. Now, the crazy thing about Brady is he didn't start off as a wrestler. Nope. He actually started off training at Dragon House when he was young. And Brady Huang gets the takedown. Ended up wrestling his first time ever 
at uh, JC at Skyline in San Francisco. Trained by James Haddon and Jason Morehouse, Skyline College. Ended up, uh, I think, placing in state. I believe so, seventh place. Yep. As a second year wrestler. So he's Brady kicked. Huang is just a guy who is incredibly disciplined. Like, you won't find another guy with the work ethic that Brady has. Very talented as well. Hard work and talent put together is what Huang is. So I'm really curious to see what he does with a guy that's so skilled and a vet of the sport like De La Cuesta. Nice. Huge down by right. Brady Huang. He's going to look to crawl into full mount. De La Cuesta going to do everything Coming he right can back up. to stand up. Most guys that get taken down by Huang don't get up that easily. So that was, that was impressive by De La Cuesta. Well, most don't get up at all. Ah, nice shot to the quad by Wong. Looks like De La Cuesta looking to take Huang down. The, uh, you know, Brady Huang looking to work from he, full guard. Like I said, Brady Huang has great jiu-jitsu, great rubber guard. He can't throw his head, legs behind his head, without, I believe, without using his arms. Brady Huang looking to trap the arm of De La Cuesta, looking for a submission. De La Cuesta is doing the right thing right now by keeping Brady against the cage, but... Looking to pass the guard as De La Cuesta. There he goes. Here comes the triangle of Brady Wong. It's deep. Wong it's deep. Looking to become it is the next deep. URCC champion. That is a deep, deep triangle. Kane Vandal is all like, over he's the action. He's the tapping. Comes. He's tapping. Brady Wong is the new URCC bantamweight champion of the world. Just like that. Huge, huge submission by Brady. The Kung Fu Warrior Wong. Wow, that was an impressive win for Brady Wong against a vet. One of the De best fighters on all of the West Coast, all of the United States. Ian De La Cuesta is a warrior and a veteran of the, of the sport, and Brady Wong took him apart. submission that just he pushed it in perfect that was a beautiful display to jiu -jitsu tonight Brady Hall! 